Okay, in this video, I'm going to be comparing three different um, batches of black powder, all used with different charcoals. Um, basically, just to demonstrate the importance of the types of wood that you use for your charcoal and how it will affect your black powder. So for each batch, um, they're all milled for the same time. They're all the same um, grain. So I did 100 grams of black powder using your just generic air float charcoal that you can buy from most chemical um, online stores that sell chemicals and stuff. This is just your generic air float, which usually is mixed hardwood. Um, and then balsa, which is a really light um, charcoal that I bought from a hobby store. And then willow. So there's the willow. There's the balsa. And there's the air float. So the air float is a little bit more powdery the ball, so you can see, is starting to clump together because the finer it gets, the more it kind of binds together. And then the willow is almost like in a chunk right there, but it's all really fine and like flour. So I used for each batch, they were put in a three pound um, rock tumbler jar, 100 grams of composition in each, with one pound of triple lot buckshot lead balls as media. So everything was constant. They all had the same, all of them were 100 gram batches milled for the same time, three hours each, with the same amount of media in each. So everything is constant. So after three hours, um, I'm going to test each one to show the different um, um, burn rates or burn speed. So first up, we'll test um, uh, the air float charcoal. I'm using a little bottle rocket stick to light this. So uh, keep in mind this is just three hours of milling and um, the thing about the softer woods is that you don't have to mill the black powder as long. Um, that last test with the air float charcoal, um, it didn't seem fast or I wouldn't personally use it for making lift powder or anything yet. I'd mill it for longer. But air float charcoal is a suitable charcoal. I mean it's, it's good for black powder but I'm just comparing the different types of charcoal. So you can mill the air float longer and get really suitable black powder but the softer woods are just better in my opinion because you don't have you can cut down on your production time okay so this is uh, willow and something i forgot to mention is that these are all one gram tests of each one gram of each um batch Okay, and this is balsa. So these are the pieces of paper that I used. That one's still burning. Um, to test all these, this was the air float, this was the willow, and this was the balsa. Um, it's not that important, but um, so. Some people say that um, if you can put your black powder on um, like a piece of paper and it lights, it doesn't burn the paper, then it's really good. Um, I, I kind of agree and disagree. Um, if it burns fast enough, then yeah, it won't really like, it won't char your paper like that. Um, but I think if your black powder is hot enough, like with this willow and this balsa, um, then it won't really, it won't really matter how fast it is. It'll still char it a little bit. That's just what I've no, or experienced. So, um, yeah, I don't know. That was just a video to demonstrate the differences in between charcoal because it is important which kind you use. Um, personally, for stars and streamers like tiger tail and willow and stuff, I use um, pine that I'd cut in my backyard. And then I also have willow in my front yard that I use for, you know, this was all homemade charcoal except for the air float. I bought that. But the willow I made and the balsa I made, the balsa you can buy um, at most like hobby stores. You, they sell it for like model planes and stuff. It'll be expensive, just a heads up. Um, I, I have a friend who steals his from a field where they fly model airplanes. He goes in the trash and takes them out, which is pretty smart. But So yeah, I think willow is the most um, economical option because it's, it's common. And if you buy it online, it'll be kind of expensive. I mean, I'm definitely um, a proponent for 
um, making your own charcoal because it's a lot cheaper than buying it. So, anyway, um, comment below and let me know what kind of charcoal you use and what experience you have with it. I'd like to know what other people kind of use. I've never had an experience with like lamp black or anything like that. I don't know if you guys have, so I don't know. Just give me a comment and see what your, or to show me what your experiences are with different types of charcoal.